one know. of my new favorite one of my new favorite one of my new favorite sounds by the way is and i think bo might have almost <laughs> debuted it two episodes ago and he just did it again right now is when you kind of catch him off guard with something when he's not expecting it. he goes what <laughs> <laughs> Like, like, just like, 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 just like, just what? now you were like, 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 just now you were like, that's racist. What? <laughs> what? And then, and then, like, when I was like, and you, Bo, you're in trouble because you didn't say anything. What? <laughs> <laughs> so it goes from the Back to the Future laugh too. What? 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 Yeah. What? That's it. <laughs> Fucking ginger. <laughs> 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 oh, there's the cough again, okay. and the cough, and the emphysema is back. <laughs> Do you or someone you know suffer from mesothelioma? <laughs> <laughs> that's my favorite. That's my favorite fucking commercial, bro. <laughs> I feel like every commercial is potentially that commercial. Like at any given moment, any other commercial could suddenly like have the one of the actors turn to the camera and be like, "Do you or anyone?" Yeah. You know? Oh like, yeah, he, there's lawyers lining up, chomping at the bit, ready for lawsuits. Yeah, that have to do with mesothelioma. Yeah, yeah. shout out to 1942. <laughs> yeah, exactly. When I was working on those steamships, <laughs> <laughs> dude, a guy from a guy from Iceland came into my work today. Oh man, this story's bullshit already. And told me. <laughs> 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 And welcome to the Terradrome, the podcast by the guys that podcast like it might be their last podcast. Why? Because it just might be episode 27. How are you, fellas? We good? Welcome back. All the way from heaven. Episode 27. All the way from heaven. (laughs) Episode 27. (laughs) Sorry. I'm gonna get it out really fucking. Ugh, but... Get them coughs out. Get them out. Get them out. Get them out. If, if you're playing the if you're playing the fucking Nate coughing drinking game, I just gave you a quick one right off the bat. Um, I listen. I I gotta get it out. I know you guys don't watch fucking sports, but holy fuck, that Packer game last night oh, almost Jesus. gave me a heart attack. I've seen. Attack. A, I I don't follow sports, but I uh, but I've seen a lot of memes. Mimi's. Yeah, the, was, I've uh, seen a lot of the a lot of the funny pictures, the funny internet pictures about yeah interwebs. about it. Yeah, yeah, it was pretty. Uh, it was pretty badass. Uh, Aaron Rodgers, which is basically the entire Green Bay. Fuck you, Dust. I'm if getting we this turn off this my into chest. the football podcast. Yeah, I'm not. I'm, I'm what? Good. What about me makes you think that I'm just going to turn this into the football? I talk to myself for fuck. Hey, an you hour? know what? You, you guys know I'm not a good sport. I don't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I was trying to crowbar that joke um, in there. So yeah, uh, go, uh, go go talk about your Green Bay. Uh, uh, snocker, it'll be really it'll be really fast. I mean, I'm sure some of our 14 listeners care about sports. Um, six. It six. was it, it was pretty bad. <laughs> we just dropped down to six now because of the <laughs> yes. sport. Um, I'm a huge Packer fan, and uh, I Fudge was watching. Fan, I was bro. watching. I was watching the beginning of the game upstairs. I made dinner. They were getting their ass kicked. Uh, Aaron Rodgers got hurt, got carried off on a fucking cart, which is never a good sign. This story is already bullshit. And, and and no, he did. He got taken off on a cart. And my cousin and I are a huge Packer fans. He's already texting me. He goes, "Hey, so when's basketball season?" Like hey, we were, it was, it was, we were, we were very upset because without Aaron Rodgers, you know, <sighs> as go him, as go uh, Green Bay. So he comes back triumphantly in the third quarter, and they're down twenty to zero, and he's on one leg with three minutes left in the third quarter, and fucking brings them back, and they win by one on a last minute seventy five yard touchdown, and it was pretty fucking epic, and uh, you know, yeah, and you know what, Dust? Every week you're gonna get my Green Bay Packer. What happened this week for the next sixteen weeks? So just fucking deal with it. <laughs> Yay! With that. Yay! 
Are you excited? But I'm getting it out. I'm getting it out early. I'm going to get it out early because I don't know how your beer intake and I don't want Heckle and Jekyll <laughs> to fucking hijack what I'm fucking saying no, uh, I had a, later I had on a, in the show. I had a host tonight's show, so I'm only uh, one, two, three, three, four, five, six, eight. I'm only at eight. Usually I'm at 18. So <laughs> we're good. Just, uh, uh, we're going to keep this rolling. Midi, check, check. Midi, are you there? Midi, you there, buddy? Can we get some audio from you, bro? No audio for me. All right. All right. So we're going to find see him. I see him. I see that top of that head up there. All right. Uh, Bo Walker, the mayor, the mayor, the mayor of Macon. How are you, my friend? Money making, making. And salutations. Money making, making. Is that money making, making? Is that it? Money making and triple M. Money making, making. making. Shaken, (laughs) not faking. Do do you money make the bacon and fry it up in the pan? Oh, you know I do. <laughs> I shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it, shake it up, shake it up, shake it. Put me in a circle of homies and watch me. <laughs> Ground is quaking, and my boots I'm shaking. Wow, eating we, up the bacon and the great. Oh, nope, we've already used bacon twice. We're getting right. exclusive. Look, 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 the rap in here. Now. God, the rap ends now. It ends it. In, in, you can only use it. the si- finish Bo, him. Bo, if I've taught you once, I've taught you a thousand times. If you're going to use the same rhyme word twice, it has to mean two different things. You know that. I did. I did know that. I, I, that is absolutely fair. I did know that. I ignored it. I, I purposefully I, I and willingly right out the window. <laughs> ignored it in an attempt. So just, did you make so did you make your uh, triumphant return to the bingo, bud? I did, I did. I, I walked up in there like fucking uh like fucking uh Jennifer Lopez at the end of uh fucking what's that movie where she was in the mind of No god Geely, god damn it, the movie oh. with Vincent D'Onofrio where she goes oh. the cell. I walked up in bingo like Jennifer Lopez at the end of the cell where she That's walks a good in movie. Yeah, right. That where she walks into the little boy's mind, and she's t- and she's like defeated the serial killer, and she walks in there, and it yeah, has the like, one thing about Jennifer Lopez that she doesn't have to worry like, about is is uh, is being in a little boy's mind. I'm sure she's in a lot of little boys' minds <laughs> for the past twenty some odd years. She's always been in little boys' minds and, and, yeah. and old boy, uh, big boys' minds. I'm yeah, saying. it's not just it's not just me, Bo. You can't get a fucking story out either. Well, I'm just saying, man. <laughs> Wow, I can't. I mean, I guess that's my wow. fault. I brought up you know, Jennifer Lopez. The six, the six listeners that are out there, do you, am I allowed to interject and try to throw like, a bully bar, a good joke in there, or, or, or a bad joke? Just let me know. Uh, I like leave, it. Leave, leave it in the comments. Leave it in the comments. <laughs> hey. It was well played. Leave it in the comments. It was well played. I just, I'm, well just, played. I just, I'm just trying to bust us balls. That's all. Yeah, nice try. <laughs> Deflected. Uh, so, yeah, so both triumphant, like, like in the. Uh... So, yeah, yeah, triumphantly returned to bingo. It was a good night, man. Uh, I had a couple of people that ha- are uh, what I would call regulars uh, that are there a lot of the time, and they were, they were just really, really kind. Um, you know, I don't know. To be perfectly frank, uh, you know, I struggle from time to time, uh, as many people do, with feelings of uh, self worth and. Um, success and things of that nature you know what i'm saying where where you get to that point where you're like god damn it am i doing as much as i really am capable of doing uh in the world right. around me um and so it was nice to have people that come every week and that were there and were like we love coming to this we love what you're doing you know you're really good because they it. missed it was, you the previous week right yeah yeah for sure right. and uh and um it was just nice man it it, it was kind of like that pat on the back that i felt like i needed it was nice. So you, so you immediately walked in and demanded a raise? I immediately i i <laughs> I just grabbed the bottle of whiskey from the, <laughs> across the bar. I just reached yep. over the bar and grabbed it from behind. This is my payment, like, motherfucker. <laughs> fucking kar- judo chop, karate chopped the top off of it, and was just like <laughs> judo and then just <laughs> and and then demanded my raise. Uh, what do you what do you want for a check? No, just pay me in booze. Pay me yeah. in booze. Pay me in booze. 
Pay me in blood, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> so what else is going on? Anything else? Oh, no. Uh, shit, man. That's, uh, you know, a lot of shit's going on. Um, more than I'm more than I'm going to get into tonight. I'm excited to be here. I, I am excited Good. for this episode. I'm excited to be here with you guys tonight. You always make me feel good it's about a relief man everything. it's a relief man it's there there's a relief in it and i love you guys and i'm happy to be here tonight and uh i want to take a note from dust because dust does this every week and i don't feel like i've ever done it what talk address- over people with bad jokes yes well i'm not gonna do that <laughs> i'm gonna i'm gonna continue to avoid that pitfall but what i am gonna do is i'm gonna address the listeners which i don't feel like i ever do yes hey yo 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 i don't want to steal this thing i'm not gonna okay. say yo hey greetings and salutations okay thank you all for listening um uh, bo walker up in this motherfucker thank y'all for being here <laughs> yeah word this is one thing <laughs> like, and like and like what a, like what, a lot, what a lot of things that I do with with the other stuff on the other podcast, a lot of it's live and we have a chat that goes while we're going. So we're always chatting out the chat, shouting out the people, thanking them for coming in and being an audio format now. And it's not live. We could always just, you know, shout out to the people that are here, man. Thank you for listening to us. Thank you for, for downloading sure. to us. I'm Absolutely. really happy that you you enjoy this and let us know. Uh, leave, leave, leave your, leave a review. Get some comments. Go to the Cobra Law Records Facebook page. It's a like page, and just drop a comment in there. Just let us know what's up. Let us know you like the, you like the episode. I mean, everybody's on fucking Facebook. Don't even fucking give me that bullshit. <laughs> just give us a like, and just you know, just leave us a message there or whatnot. Man, it's it's always cool to interact with the people that are listening and and that are absorbing the content. You I know. don't like none of you, so fuck all y'all. <laughs> fuck, fuck you, fuck everybody. You. <laughs> you, know, you know, the one thing about Dust Mites is I love everybody. You keep your the goddamn beginning. comments to yourself, you <laughs> motherfuckers. I love everybody at the beginning of the show, but at the end of the show, it's pretty much fuck everybody. This guy, my guy, boom. <laughs> And I, it's love. I don't need your like, your (laughs) like, life preserver. Fuck off. (laughs) You know, honestly, man, I appreciate everybody that listens to us. And but you know, I would like to have more interaction with the fans and the people that listen to the show. I I want to make sure. I want to make sure we're doing it right. You know. (laughs) No, you're right. I'm just teasing. You're right. Yes. Yeah. 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 I don't know, man. I'm somewhere in between. I think that would make a lot of sense. Wow, that was the biggest heel turn I've ever seen in my life. Two minutes ago, he was all about the people, man. What is this? Bo knows where his fucking bread's buttered. It's an NWO show of a sudden. Midi, 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 Midi. Can we get some audio from Midi? Yes, yes. There he is. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, you know, you, yes. you got killer, killer, killer. Killer. Miss some killer Michael McDonald impressions, man. <laughs> <laughs> some fucking gold. Uh, I love it. So now that you're here, midichlorian music, how are you, sir? Ah, yes, man. You know, I've um, uh, it's been a pretty mediocre week as as far as uh, uh, shit goes. Mid- but, a, but, oh, mediocre, a mediocre week. week. <laughs> mediocre. Yeah. Jesus Christ! Oh, wow. that's, that's got a yo, that's got a seven. We just got this. That's a better joke than I would. That's a good one, bro. I don't that's usually. One, I don't usually step back and say midi. That midi mediocre. That's can we call it the mediocre minute? <laughs> <laughs> can, my can we not? That's a good one. <laughs> that's good. That's good one. That's good. That's good. So anyway, so. Uh, been the back of these MP smashing pads, but yeah, that's that's what I've been doing. Smashing right pads. You um, do know this is not a music <laughs> podcast, right? Yeah, don't tell that to fucking Michael McDonald and the fucking crisscross Excuse Christopher me, and, Cross uh, Christmas album. Yeah, the crisscross <laughs> Christmas. Ladies and gentlemen, live tonight on Channel Seven uh, is the Chris Christopher Christopher it's Cross. The Christmas. One, it's the one surviving member of Chris Cross. His name is Cross, so it's the Cross yes, Christopher Cross. Biggie, biggie. Cross. Followed by Welcome Back Carter and Mork and Mindy. We really need Chris. We need Chris because then it could be. You can't forget. Chris from Chris from Chris Cross. Chris from Chris Cross. 
Chris and Christopher Cross. It's Chris from Criss Cross and Christopher Cross Christmas album. It's a Christmas album. It's a crossover. <laughs> <laughs> it's the, the Chris, the Chris from Criss Cross and Christopher Cross's crossover Christmas album. Yes. Jesus Christ! We've oh, we we got to go. Christopher Wallace. Yeah, yeah. The intro, the intro was from Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> Man, yeah. I gotta tell you guys, I and love a, it's, and it's I like Vinny said, a lost guys. verse from Christopher Wallace. <laughs> <laughs> I've been hanging on to it. Man. That's been fucking hanging on to it. <laughs> um, off the off the you know, I look at Instagram like, should I drop it today? <laughs> you know, this is definitely uh, why this is definitely why we need to go with the Christopher Cross Christopher Cross intro. I can't even fucking say it anymore. Uh because of that joke right there. It needs to oh, needs to tie. Sure. It. Yeah. And and I we talked about it off air and I I made Bo hold on to it. I um, but the question that I posed was who was was killing the gray beard, gray long hair combo more, Michael McDonald or Kenny Loggins? Which led Bo into talking about tell all right, Bo, tell us about a new thing that you're doing in your yeah, article. So, you're making. so uh, I got a new article that um that uh me and a f- uh, friend of mine, a local musician, have started writing, and it's called Band Fight. So we're gonna take two artists from a shim- similar genre. Uh, we've only written and one era? so far. And era, an era, an era, an era, if you would. Uh, um, so the first one is the Gogo Go Go's versus the Bangles. That's our first. Ooh, our okay. first That's our fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. A good one. A solid. A strong. Uh, a strong. Almost, and so, I mean, it's a pre-existing so, kind of debate that that exists. Does one of you does one. So one of you takes one. Oh side yeah. Oh, over for the other. sure. For sure. But do, we, but, we, but do either. Hold on. But do either one of you care? Do you flip a coin? You're like, yo, I'll just I'll take no, whatever side no, you want no. me to take. No, no. We're we're only gonna pick things that we can argue legitimately i was staunchly go-go's and he was very firmly planted in the bangles camp so it was easy for us to it was easy for us to pick um that's very cool uh, so i but but i'm so glad you brought that up because i am going to petition him i think that's our next one is michael the the michael mcdonald kenny loggins yeah i think think that's our that's our next that's our next column man that's our next band fight to me to me the Michael McDonald beard was more fiercer, and he had the feathered hair oh, went yeah. around the ears. Yeah. It was. Uh, I'm definitely gonna want to sharp wings. Pro they were wings. McDonald's it was like a. This it was like yeah. a. It was like a a Buck Rogers spaceship when it comes to the wings over the. Oh ears. no, Michael McDonald was a thousand percent prettier, but I, I didn't say I didn't say Kenny. prettier. Bro, you, you just said, said feathered you, hair. You, that's, 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 that's fucking. <laughs> that's an adjective for. That's an you, adjective for pretty, bro. No, 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 no. It's not. You said. You said pretty. I didn't say pretty. He had the feathered hair that you looked like a Buck Rogers spaceship. That's what I said. That has nothing to do with fucking pretty. You said pretty. You used very, very loving terms. Why the fuck am I so fucking pretty? You just, <laughs> good fellow. I tell you right now, though. I tell you right now, though. Kenny Loggins fucked Michael McDonald up in a fight. Oh well, I don't is know. This, is, this, is this a physical altercation? No, I'm just saying he's the, he's the, he's the, he's the saying. gambler, bro. He's the gambler. All right, all right. Well, I so mean, fucking what? GG Allen would <laughs> rip his asshole wide open. I mean, would, would you? Would, I mean, what, what if we're just Kenny kidding, if, if this is like a musician bro, I, free for bro, all, I feel, then, like, I feel like Michael McDonald like would get scared and then call up the other guy from the. <laughs> Okay. Here's the thing. Yeah, does he? Does he? Brother. Does he? Does he fucking call? <laughs> does he call forward his his inner his inner danger zone Top Gun, or does he call in his inner inner fucking uh, Caddyshack that, theme? You know those, which those, one is that? That's, 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 I'm that's, all that's Kenny right. Loggins. That's Kenny Loggins, bud. It's the same guy. No, it's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Kenny Loggins was danger nope. zone. <laughs> Kenny <laughs> Loggins was Caddyshack and Top Gun. Kenny <laughs> Rogers is <laughs> fried Kenny chicken Rogers? and gambler. Oh, yeah, Kenny hey, fucking hey, Rogers. Hey, I, thought, I thought we were talking about hey, Kenny Loggins. Hey, no, Kenny Loggins had a brown, like a brown. No, no, so, 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 so from the beginning, you said Kenny Rogers, not Kenny Loggins? Yeah, Kenny Rogers. Yeah. Like, where the, where the hell gambler, did I hear Kenny Loggins? You know, fucking, you know, Kenny <laughs> Rogers, man, he makes a really, gr- he makes a really strong bird. 
<laughs> I, I thought you said Connie. Are you sure? I got to rewind that. You said I, Kenny Loggins. Uh, Roger, Connie Rogers. Oh, without a doubt, man. Kenny Rogers fucking takes it all the way, man. Fuck <laughs> man. No. You cannot fuck. Yo, you cannot fuck with Kenny fucking Rogers on no fucking level. No but, Kenny Loggins, no but, fucking uh, but, uh, Kenny McDonald, no George fucking Costanza is going to fuck with that dude, man. Bro, but, Bo, I do think that maybe for your article, Kenny Loggins versus Michael McDonald's may be a better one. Yeah, that's musically. a better one, man. Yeah, that's probably musically. a better one. That's yeah, probably man, I, I thought that's a Where the hell did that come from? Accurate. Why did I maybe think I that was that? Up. Maybe, maybe it was me. Maybe I made this shit. Yeah, I gotta, no, I, I posed the thing. It was all dude, because... I'm going to tell you, man. We gotta go right. You were talking about the beards. You were talking about the gray beards. Gray beard because physically... Kenny Loggins had a gray beard, Wise, yeah. yeah, we they, need to go they, back. And they match right more. We need to go back. Musically, Loggins and McDonald are more yes, are, are more, more on line. par. Yes, yes, well, that see, makes all is, the sense in the world. See, if we were doing a live show, we could just hit for up the sure, chat for sure. Like, yo, what, was it Loggins or Rod? <laughs> <laughs> So it's a triple we're... threat. It's a three-way dance, Gorilla. It's Kenny Loggins <laughs> yeah. versus Kenny Loggins. Dude, versus this is we got to. We'll, hey, <laughs> we got to step it up at some point. Why not jump up to a three-way at one uh, sooner or later? It's going to happen eventually. Would Kenny you call Loggins a versus Kenny it's Rogers a... versus Michael yeah, McDonald. You, you, don't, you don't want to call it a triple K. Let's it's a greatest say. hits falls count anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> the letter match. He it's makes a, a really billboard st- chart match. He makes a really <laughs> strong bird. <laughs> uh, one of them, culinarily speaking, is better. Bad than chicken, the other fuck story. you up. <laughs> I mess you up, bad chicken. Remember that Seinfeld episode? <laughs> the bad fourth chicken. round, mess Guy Fieri shows up. Welcome uh, to Flavor Town. <laughs> Tonight, <laughs> I really, I mean, honestly, guys, I got to go back and listen to. That. I really thought it was Kenny Loggins. Don't versus need to Kenny. go back and listen to it. It was Kenny Rogers and Michael McDonald. I, where the fuck did I get Kenny Loggins from? I don't know, but I love that you did. It's just, it was it, that is very reminiscent yeah. of the fucking uh, what's the movie, the Tough Turf, uh, yeah, David t- yeah. Spade and James Spader. Yeah. Uh, the, the, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the premiere go. of uh, Dust 80s no, Cinema and the, uh, the finale of Dust 80s Cinema <laughs> <laughs> all in one night. Thank you, guys. Uh, speaking of Dust Mites, Edward, how are you, my friend? Slow down, yo, yo, yo. <laughs> that sounded like a didgeridoo. That's that a, sounded like a didgeridoo. Dust. Didgeridoo. the musk. That was the slow down, yo, yo. <laughs> hey, what's up, everybody? Uh, welcome to the Terradrome. My name is Dust Mites, and fuck you all. That's going to be it. Perfect. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> that, that's all I got. Now, nah, man, that's that's that, what we were looking for. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're already we're already pretty much into our conversations here, and I don't want to ruin the flow and the uh, uh, synergy, big word synergy that we got going on here. Mm. Yes, yes. So, with that being said, you were asking me how my week was. No, not Thanks at all. For asking, I'm trying, I'm trying, <laughs> trying to complete my week. I don't think there's anything good, man. I'm. Uh, is it no time? Should I go to notes? <sighs> Nobody wants the notes. Uh, <laughs> nope. That's your shirt, Dust. That's your show shirt. It just says nobody wants the notes, and on the back it just says Dust Mites. Oh, you know, you know, the, you know what? This story's oh, already bullshit. So fuck it. <laughs> nobody wants the notes. You don't want to hear about my new porn series called Leave the Cleavage? No. <laughs> no. Uh, nothing about uh, uh, you know, I've been watching Deadwood again. You know, Deadwood's a great fucking show. You guys like Deadwood? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, you know, that's a nickname I just gave my cock. Uh, nobody wants to know like that. Nothing, nothing. Going through the notes. <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Nobody wants the notes as if, as if this by if this podcast ever blew up and we got, got movies. It's and a new shit. segment. That's, that's, that's his easy money. That's uh, the yeah. nobody wants the notes. It's his easy nobody money. Nobody wants the notes. Yeah. 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 Shout out to nobody wants yep. the notes. It's the best part of the show. <laughs> new segment. Nobody wants the notes. No, it's you actually, can't keep making up fucking segments when you, you know, don't. No, no, we're gonna make them. segments. You know, it's, it's like it's like 
you know, one episode of segments. I try, I try to make the notes of crowbar shit in there. Like nobody wants to hear the notes. I mean, you don't want to hear it, but you know, it's gonna be a new segment. Nobody, you're gonna hear it anyway. So How either many way, segments do you need, bro? You've got three segments. I have no segments. I, I retired them. You've got them 80s, and 80s. Segment, I you retired them. You I retired them once. I retired them. <laughs> Can you just hear what I just said? It was the premiere and the finale of that because you guys killed it. Okay. And I'm never going to do it again. It. Yeah, we you guys killed, killed it. Not, yeah, I would never kill it. it. I would never kill. kill it. Oh, that Bo, Bo, that's a what? I would never kill a thing. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? What? I'm not a killer. I am a I'm peace a loving human. I'm, I'm not a killer. I just stab a lot. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, how what? dare you? What? Hey Nate, how was your week? Oh, it's it's so nice of you to ask. Fucking awesome. <laughs> Twenty seven oh. episodes. In. Everything's so fucking awesome when it comes to Nate's week. It's like a fucking Mary Poppins <laughs> The Disney feature. A spoonful oh of sugar God. keeps the Haskell down. Um, <laughs> my I week, can't. you know, I, I, I wasn't, I wasn't nothing really, you nothing really to fo- report. You already said the football story. Thanks. 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 Thanks for that. <laughs> Was that in your notes? Nope, but it is now. <laughs> Football hey, story. Okay. Hey, a couple, a couple of things I did want to talk about though. Yeah, this story's already bullshit. Have you guys? Have you guys seen? <laughs> fuck off. <laughs> have you guys seen this thing? Have you guys seen this thing going around on the web where where they're making kids think that they've disappeared? No, yeah. I see. It, it, have no, you seen it? dogs? I've seen the no, ones no. where they make the dogs no, no. think they disappeared. No, no, no. So what they do is is they have a kid and they put a blanket over him, right? And they tell him that they're going to make him disappear or whatever, okay? But prior to that, so let's say that they're in the, the, the living room. Prior to that, one of the people in the family take a picture, like, with their arm around something, right? And, and like, pretending there's another person. So they get the kid and they put a fucking blanket over its head and they pull the blanket over the kid's head and then... Everyone's like, oh, my God, where did he go? Da, 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 da. And this is like little kids, like six, seven, eight years old. And everybody in the yeah. room pretends like, pretends like they don't see the kid. And so these kids are freaking the fuck out. And so they go, well, you can't see. And they go, I'm right here. I'm right here. And they go, here, let's take a picture. So then they take a picture in the same place and then show them the phone of the previous picture that they had already taken yeah. with nobody in it. And then it oh. makes the fucking kids think that they've really disappeared. They start, <laughs> you know, they start, they start crying and shit. It's great to see that <laughs> we're finally dude, puffing dude, up. What are you doing to our children? What the we're fuck is wrong with these fucking kids? Jesus up. Christ! It's hilarious. It, it, it's you know, I don't know if I told this story before. Uh, I would totally do that on the show about. Uh, my grandfather was—he was a really tough fucking screw, man. He was a fucking tough guy. Did I tell you the Rudolph story on this show before? The Rudolph story? No. Okay, might have been on into the realm or one of the many other fucking formats that I do. Check out my uh, resume. Um, uh, my so grandfather cool. was a really tough motherfucker. He fought in World oh, War Two. He was—he was typically fucking Robert De Niro from Goodfellas, you know, it, 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 back in the day in the seventies. And he was my grandfather, and he watched us. He, he wasn't. He wasn't like like a. Like he, rooster, watched right? us, he watched this. He watched this one like What? Rooster. Who? Dope. Continue. Awesome. And then he watched this one <laughs> night. And, um, it was a. Uh, it was a little holiday that we used to fucking. We used to celebrate. I don't know if anybody else did. It was called uh, Santa's uh, Santa's birthday, and basically it was just another fucking. Uh, a holiday back in the seventies where you just drop off some candy or something like that and it was his birthday. Santa it was trying to get us hyped up for Christmas. This is the seventies now, remember, because I'm an old school dude. And um he's watching us and he's got his rifle out because he was a hunter. The rifle's out on the wall. And this is old school Brooklyn. And um he's making uh these uh old school uh, it was back in the day. Whoa, 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 whoa. rewind. Rewind I need, oh, need to know. I need Fuck to know Christ. you're hunting in Brooklyn? No, he was a hunter, but we lived in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, uh, okay. Would he go to like? Uh, no, he would go. To, he would go to fucking Linden like, Boulevard uh, and fucking or... start shooting off. No, he of course <laughs> that he was, was like... satellite. <sighs> so, that was a um, fair question. Yeah, of course. Oh yeah, <laughs> we lived in Brooklyn, but he was a hunter. I mean, what does that mean? Was so De- you would go to like upstate? Did, New York did De Niro? Did, did De Niro and his gang drove up to the mountains to go deer hunting in the deer hunter? Right? Am I right? Did they did they deer hunt in fucking Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania? No, they didn't. 
They got in a car and they drove to the fucking mountains. Okay, but but you implied that he just hung up his gun on the rack, like he, he just got back from from. Uh, <laughs> <being Brooklyn. laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just saying. When you listen back, you'll see. Uh, Jekyll is turning on Heckle. Yeah, all of a sudden, yeah, it's a heel turn. <laughs> we got a heel turn tonight, <laughs> folks. Second one of the night. But uh, yeah, yeah. Well, let me get back to the fucking story. Okay. There used to be these little fucking uh, banquet used to make it, it like turkey or beef in a gravy. You put the bag. This is before microwaves. You put the bag in boiling water. It boils it up. It heats up the gravy, heats up the meat, and you throw it on top of like a, a an open sandwich, like like bread or something like that. You know, it was, it was just one of those things. They call it shit in the shingle. Here we go again. Uh, full of real shit. That's what it's called. I, I know what yeah. you're talking about, G. No, it wasn't called shit in the shingle. Why would they sell something that was called shit in the shingle? No, would that, that was just them? like the slang for it, man. The slang. Okay. Shit in so, the shingle. So uh, he, he served this to us, and he had the fucking gun leaning up on the wall, and this story is taking way fucking too long that I expected. Well, you know. And, um, and uh, you know, he we were eating it, and it was Santa Claus's mm-hmm. fucking, it was Santa Claus's birthday, and me and Word. my sister were eating it, and we're fucking enjoying it. It's great. And he picks up this red light bulb that he holds in his hand. And he says, you enjoy that? He's like, yeah, it's Rudolph. Like, How old were you? I, I don't know. Eight, nine. Oh, that's fucking. That's bad. Do you that's see, do you see where, joke. Do you <laughs> see where I'm going with this story yeah. with what we're talking about? You know, like, you know, so the same thing, the same reaction these kids are getting from these fucking millennial fucking phones that I'm invisible and nobody can see me. Anymore. <laughs> I went through this in the 70s when a psychopathic grandfather just, just came back from fucking World War II and was a fucking nut job. And didn't give a fuck about anybody but himself and his Rheingold cans. You know what I mean? And this is what he did to us. He used to make me stand in the corner for hours. And I did nothing. He would get drunk and pass out. I was still in the corner because I was petrified. <laughs> fucking Damn. Fucking Jesus Christ. Christ. Wow. You know, uh, here we go with stories. You want stories? I'm giving you fucking stories. Is anybody man, else going to interrupt me right talk. now? Mitty, you want to interrupt me? I didn't think Listen, so. Listen, you got the floor. You dropped the bomb. Man. <laughs> yeah, I had the floor until you fucking pulled the rug out from under it. Oh, <laughs> you couldn't get your story out. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> Welcome man. to the world of Nate's world, right? <laughs> a, personal story, a personal story about my life is, is nowhere near important about a fictional story we find on the interweb. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you know, it was it was supposed to come out a lot quicker. But you know, these kids right now, are going, these yeah, kids right now are going through what I went through as a kid, but worse in my yeah. opinion. Yeah, the know? reason why I even the reason why I even brought it up is because I wanted to know, Bo, if you, if you were going to do that to your kids. Is, is, is what nah. <laughs> right. yeah. Fair enough. No, he, don't, uh, he doesn't want to be my fucking grandpa. Uh, yeah. I'm, I'm going to tag you in one of them, and you can look and see. Yeah. If, <laughs> uh, They're pretty uh, funny. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll check a couple out and see, but <laughs> pro- see, it doesn't see, sound see, likely. See, after what I've heard here today, level, what level of traumatization? Yeah, 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 probably yeah. not likely. Yeah. Guys, I got a lot of fucking stories. You don't need those problems. So if you want, yeah. if you want more uh, Dust Mites kid stories, we can go for fucking hours, man. Hours, and you wonder why I'm saying him today. All right, so there's that one. Uh, Burt Reynolds passed away. Oh, yeah. fucking incredible! Man. R.I.P. Man. Yeah, the mustache. R.I.P. Uh, to the fucking bandit, man. Is it a? Hey, is it? Is it weird that I kind of wish we would have talked about him a couple episodes ago, just so we could keep it going? I'm pretty no. sure one of us referenced them. No, <laughs> I mean, is, yeah. there, is the ba- is the bandit yeah. that close to you guys? Yeah, fucking, hey. no, 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 no. Like, you know, you know, one of my favorite. Hey, Marco that... is okay, bro, but don't you fucking talk about Burt Reynolds. Uh, yeah. one, of my favorite, one of my favorite Burt Reynolds quotes is yeah. "Aim it at her tits." <laughs> of course it is from Boogie Nights. Aim it at her tits, Eddie. Hey. That's my favorite Mandingo quote. God damn it. Hey, man. Ouch. Yo, man. Fucking Burt Reynolds is the man. Uh, apparently, there's a tell all book that that he has, and it's in a it's in a fucking uh, a vault or a bank or whatever. Or, and then when he does die, it's going to come out and it's going to be about ripping everybody apart. About, 
who he had to fuck. Apparently, had to fuck a couple of guys, and a couple of guys fucked him to get where he is and and where he <laughs> was. It, yo, it's 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 out there in in his um in his career back in the day to get started and. Uh, you know, back with you know, with the Corey Haynes, his Corey role in Deliverance, he had you know the Corey Feldman and the yeah, yeah, Deliverance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so basically, there's a, basically there's a tell all book. This I'm, role, I, I can't wait for it, man. I can't wait for it. There's a tell all book, and then one of the clauses <laughs> that he put in the book, he got paid for the book, and then one of the clauses was it doesn't come out until he dies. So we'll see what's up. Yeah, man. Uh, he 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 did a bunch of um he did a bunch of events here in Macon, Georgia. Um, re- in the past couple of years, he's been here a lot, man. Uh, I I went. In fact, I personally went to a Q and A with him about Sharky's Machine, which he directed. <laughs> Great movie, from, man. Yeah, right. Uh, that, that, that's that eighties. That's an eighties cheese dust with yeah. With no, dust, not anymore. What shit. the fuck is? No. Sharky's Machine. You never Sharky's heard of Sharky's Machine, Machine bro? Or... It was filmed in Atlanta, directed oh. by Burt Reynolds, man. It is like starring the ultimate... Burt Reynolds. <laughs> yeah, starring Burt Reynolds, yep. homie. I've never yeah. heard of that movie in my life. Oh, dude, yeah, you got to check it out. It's it, not the it's you know, it's not the most uh, groundbreaking cinema, but it's No. Take it for what it is, it's pretty it's a good ride. It's, it's no a fun tough time. Turf. No, it's no tough turf. <laughs> You know, keep twisting the fucking knife, buddy. I gotta start drinking. <laughs> you know what? You know, here we go. Here we go. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna start drinking faster. Go. I'm gonna I'm gonna get I'm gonna get dust mites up to the level where you should be. Oh my gosh. He calmly said, Don't keep fucking twisting the knife, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta catch up. I gotta. Uh, you, know, you want you want dust mites on level two? We're gonna, we're gonna have to. We're gonna take it up a notch. Not, not Here we every, go. Not every comment directed towards you is a fight starter. You're twisting knives, Jesus Christ. Uh, okay. I love so, you. Moving, assholes, movie, moving right along. <laughs> yeah. Oh God. Um, what's another thing here that I uh, hold on? Oh, uh, he's okay, juggling, hey, he's juggling his notes. I've got notes. People want to hear juggling, my notes. He's juggling them. I want to know. They want the notes. Um, I'm ready for my homework. They want uh, the notes. Well, an, uh, an an interesting thought I had the other day. It, it is there a, like, let's just say for the sake of argument. But like aliens came, came right, and they're like so they're hovering. Is there are talking, anything? Are you, are, you, are you talking like a V hovering? Yeah, they're just hovering. This remember, thing. remember V from the eighties, like Absolutely. a big ass fucking people. thing that's like fucking eighty five yeah. fucking million miles long is up yeah. against so, up, up, up in the air. This yeah. So they, they yeah. they've landed, they've landed, and now they're no, running. They're hovering. Rapid. They're hovering. No. Dick. Something like that. <laughs> Something like that is. <laughs> Is there anything better that than like if we were gonna send something up? I've my vote is for pizza. Like, is that like, is that like Earth's food? You know what I mean. Like, if we're gonna break bread with like another like race of people, or I like or like or like a species, what we're I think pizza eating. is like well, the representation or tacos. Well, not Los Angeles pizza, That's pizza or tacos. Well, yeah, no, no. No, I'm just saying, LA, LA, P- LA pizza is not going up there, man. Yeah, no, I would no, no, not no, LA no, pizza. No, no, for sure. No, no, no. For sure. No, we would get sure, the best sure. of the best. You Trust me. We get the best of the best. Yeah, you get a New York pie. There'd be like a there'd be like a very brief three day discover the world's yeah, best. Yeah, yeah. You know. Like pizza is a thousand percent in our alien gift basket. Like, yo, welcome fact, to we Earth. Should, we Here's should really already be prepared pizza. for that. Like we yeah, should know which yeah, yeah. that we're prepared to send. Like his, his, that's, you know, that's uh, sl- sl- slide up a slide up a uh, fucking pie of Joe's original and a fucking twelve pack of Heineken. Right up there. Ex- oh, uh, the, the, you know what? This is <laughs> done. This we're good. Is, no, we're good. I'm, I'm not being dead. I'm being dead oh, yeah. goddamn we're, we're serious. Friends. We should have our alien care package 
prepared. This should not be something like, that we discover and figure out I when hear it happens. Alien What's the alien care package? Well, I don't, well, no, I'm oh, not going to say I didn't say alien. alien. I didn't I'm say alien. alien. I didn't say alien. What, <laughs> I, what should be in the package, but I'm telling you, we need to have it prepared. We need to have it ready. Yeah, sounds like homework. Yeah, you know what? You're right. Okay, okay here's the homework. For next for week. week. Yeah. Oh, we got homework for next week. Alien a, care package. It's a Plus six, a six a item, a six item yes. alien care package, Boom. and it can be any six items from Earth that you would like to represent us for an alien to open up and 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 look at it and now, go, all right, this is Earth. Now, when you re- yep. when you say represent us, like Cobra Law, or you represent the no no, no the Earth, this hum- okay. humanity. This is yeah. this is what we're giving you. We're I mean, gonna. Hey, oh, it's easy, hey, man. It's, if you well, want the, the first off, you, you think of up, Earth as Cobra Law Records. Copy of Easy Money. Right up, right up the shoot, man. Uh, you know, right up the shoot, a, a DVD copy of Easy Money goes right up. <laughs> <laughs> Couple cold slithers. Uh, we got, we got, we got to keep that joke there. going every fucking episode. You know that. <laughs> Couple <laughs> four horsemen. Maybe some cabbages um, and some king. Yeah, anything you want. That's the homework. Six, I, six items. Six like items it. in the in the welcome to Earth alien care package. Yeah, I, I like it. Uh, yeah, that's all. Awesome. Yeah, speak, speaking of homework, this we didn't talk about this in the show last week, but I posed this to the group in our group thread. Um, nerd alert! Sirens are about to go off. And, uh, uh, I asked I asked the guys to put together a six man ex, a six person x-men team okay we're gonna go to you bo walker first what is your six man x all official team? x-men right they have to be official yeah, x-men. official x-men yeah yes. right, right right that that yeah, was my understanding like hawkman okay. well hawkman was never right. well yeah. <clears throat> hawkman. i was really hoping that i wouldn't go first because my okay, sixth... you know, you... no, well, no 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 because he didn't no, do it yet. no no uh-uh, i'll take it i'll take first okay. all right do it okay let me let me set the bar Oh, yeah, you know, yeah, you know, yeah. if you're in the penitentiary, you oh, take Lord. first. Yeah, <laughs> just shut, God damn it, God damn you! What? 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 <laughs> what? What? <laughs> what? You got a rare. I'm trying to answer the question. Can, can, can I just? Can um, I just? All right, Bo- right. Professor, right. Professor, right. Professor, right. Professor right. Bometheus X. I'll tell you this much. It was, and and I'm sure that I share a lot of X Men with my fellow Cobra Law brethren. I'm mm-hmm. sure. I, I, I'm just going to go ahead and tell you guys. I know we're probably going to share some people. Oh, um, I mean, this dude's been. Uh, the, I, I feel like the first five came really easily. Like Your I didn't have a problem. Shots. So my first five, first five shots. Blam, blam, blam. Uh, Archangel. Boom! Love it. Love. I love that draft pick. Nice. Nightcrawler. Of course. Not on my list, two, but I like them. Two you. extremely, uh, you know, they're they're traverse traversal. You know, they're spatial in their yeah. powers. All right, Colossus. Love it. And Beast. Nice. My powerhouses. Those are my strong man. All right. Strong man. No, it, it, it's always Shad- man. All right. Shadow. <laughs> Shadow Cat. <laughs> Shadow Cat. Shadow, Shadow Cat's Shadow number Cat. six. Oh, now, Kitty Pride. Shadow, Shadow Cat. Kitty Pride. Yeah. Kitty Pride. Shadow, 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 Shadow Cat. Shadow Cat with the Shadow Cat. Was it Shadow Cat with the blue uniform? The, the 80s yeah. with the blue with yeah, the. Yeah, right? That's, yeah, that's the what I'm saying. in the leg warmers. Shadow you Cat. You put Shadow Cat in the blue. <laughs> Out of the blue. Shadow Cat's in your team. Actually, I got one more. I got one more. But but throwing up, Colossus up, behind up, the scenes wait up, wait up. and jerking them Yo, off. Nathan, Sorry. Nathan got, got a dope line, though, when he's like, yeah, take your pussy pride. Then we call you Shadow Cat. Yeah, of course. That was awesome. That's, yeah. Yeah, that shit was tight. That shit yeah, LA. I appreciate that. Shout out to yeah. LA. Yeah. All, the, all, all the people that got that reference are on this show right now. Thank you, yeah, guys. I love you. <laughs> Someone's got a fucking journey. Right, okay, home. and your last and your and your All last right, one. So I, got, I, got, I got one more pick, and um, I really wanted to um, um just to be frank here, I I really wanted to I wanted up, to go Wolverine, but I've already got Beast and Colossus. I've got my brawlers. I've got my brawlers, so I don't want Wolverine. Mm-hmm. 
I, I want somebody who's got distance, who's going to help beast with Strong their guy. strategy, with strategy. <laughs> we don't, I, want, we... I want somebody, Cyclops. It's Cyclops, homie. It's Cyclops. <laughs> Everybody's <laughs> most hated X-Man. Well, I want him oh, on my not me, buddy. No, nah, yeah, thank I, you. I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't think I, anything, anything after everybody nine, loves to hate Cyclops. Anything, anything after nine to five didn't happen to me, so I'm 95 yeah, and under. Here's yeah, my comic. I'll book. take, I'll take 95 on, man. Fuck, yeah, I'm 95 under for my it. comics. I like, it. Did I like it. So, Bo Walker's list is Archangel, Colossus. No. You writing this down? Beast, Nightcrawler. I know Night it's not Cal- memory because it's memory and, and, Cyclops. and Cyclops. Yep. Wow. Yeah. How the fuck do you remember that? But you don't remember to fucking call me or send me a track. <laughs> How the fuck yeah. does that happen? Same way I remember <laughs> everything. I don't, stupid don't even fucking it. Don't even. All right, midichlorian music. <laughs> yes, Midic- yes. Mid- music. Who is the mediocre X Men? You know these are some these are some mediocre X Men, but they all serve a purpose in the camp. I like it. Like, Let's uh, do it. You know, I'm all about a, a sonic fidelity and and just just I'm all about so- sound waves. We get period. it. Just so, drop your fucking list. <laughs> so yeah, Banshee. Have to That's start a off great with pick. I listen. I wanted him in, and I I couldn't fit him in. But I, hear, I, I I love your, Banshee. We didn't hear your list yet, so stop. Never even spoilers. crossed my mind. Yeah. Stop Banshee. with the spoilers. All right, so Sean, Sean, Sean I, I noted. I know that everyone probably wants to pick Magneto, so I can't do that. You know, I need I need uh, someone yeah. like Magneto. Yeah, maybe no. maybe his man. clone, maybe yeah. Joseph. But but I'm he going was with never Polaris. an X Men. He was a, he was a teacher. He was no, yeah. Well, no, he, he doesn't is. count. You can't pick Magneto. He's you not an X Men. He was a leader. He's not on the list. I, he didn't. I he picked didn't, Polaris. Right. I'm just making Polaris. sure Polaris. Didn't. Who, Probably you're gonna say it's not an X Men, right. but yeah, no, Polaris. She's an X Factor. She's good. Polaris is good. Lyris is a cunt. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. So then, uh, uh, <laughs> Jesus, that's so <laughs> brutal. <laughs> Next, we've got Banshee. just like my man just so no, seriously. No chill. no chill. I have to go with Bobby Drake, the Ice Man. Yeah. Oh, I almost picked him, dude. Yep. Yep. So yep. What, what am I up? I'm, I'm, I'm up to five, guys, right? <laughs> no, you have Polaris, Banshee, and Ice Man. You've got three. Got that joke. A lot of guys okay, almost picked. Okay, so uh. Yeah, th- this one kind of uh, I, it's I'm kind of stretching this one, man. But I know it's probably against the rules. But if Storm and Black Panther had a kid, you know, uh, would be called Weathered Pussy. What you talking about, Willis? <sighs> Jesus Christ, Mitty. <laughs> That's his best joke well, of the night, ladies. Yeah, yeah. You, don't, you, don't, you don't want to hear. That's his best joke. You don't want to hear her origin story. No, ain't even what, a power. What, what I she do want to hear. What I do want to hear. What I do want to hear is the next X Men on your fucking team. Let's go. Okay, so I I, I got to beat you guys to it, Professor X, just so I can hear sissy. Max Clan. So he's talking Professor X from X Clan. Not not the original Professor X, but he's talking about Professor X from that clan. I'm Glo- glad you got it. Man, glorious. This mutant massacre right. is represented by the uh, red, black, and green. Um, <laughs> <to> see. <laughs> All right, number five. That's it. Your yeah, team's done it. it four. That's it. You, you that's only six. picked. That's it. You picked four. Wait, no, that's weather pussy and 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 and, and <laughs> black cat or black Professor panther. X. Black weather panther's pussy. not an X Man. Let's call him something strong, something slick like weather pussy. <laughs> but yeah. black panther's not an X Man, bro. All right, well then I gotta go with Gambit just because he's so good with the bow staff. <laughs> yeah, like he just pulls it out of Come on. Yeah. All right, midichlorians X Men are Gambit, Storm. Professor oh. X, Polaris, Banshee, and Iceman. Did I get that right? It sounds it's right. It's not Storm. It's, it's, it's Weather Pussy. <laughs> not, got I would, it. I would love to tell the whole back origin weather story. Pussy, I, I know. It's, it's I know. Weather, I know. It's Weather We're Pussy with an eye. We'll save that one. We'll save that one. We'll save it's that one. Dust mites. Yo. 
Give me your. Well, I gotta go. I gotta go classic, man. I gotta go classic Claremont style. So you know, you know, there's no. I'm not gonna fucking uh, uh, intertwine the fucking ages. So it's basically gonna be your Claremont from the '80s. Basically, you're all new, all different X Men. It's gonna be Cyclops, and we got uh, the Wolverine, Colossus, uh, Nightcrawler, uh-huh. Kitty Pride. And storm. There you go. That's it. Basic. It's you basic. One, you, get, you get one more. Five? No, that's that was six. yeah, that yeah. Was you six. get one more. Yeah. No, that, was no, you, you, no, that was five. That was five. Go back and five. count. You said Cyclops, Wolverine. Cyclops, Cyclops, Co- Wolverine. Cyclops, Wolverine, Colossus, Kitty yep. Pride, Storm. Storm. Oh, and Nightcrawler. Yeah, that was six. There's the Claremont six, man. That's the Claremont six, man. That's what I'm Hey man, that's a solid team. Yeah, man, yeah. that's the team that, that I grew up with. That's a team I love. It's I not mean, that different from my team. I don't I know why it. I got shit. I love all the new guys. I love the, the Jim Lee joints. I don't know why I got also. shit. <laughs> but, you know, honestly, with me, always, is, I, 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 that's the era that I love so much, man. That's, that's, that's the Dust Mites era. Hmm. All right, you guys fucking ready for this? Oh, yeah. God, here we go. Here comes Nate's. Hit me uh, with, uh, come, come on, right. come on, Daddy. Bo's getting Bo's story right. out before he starts by, yelling. By the way, this Bo's time. getting ripped right now. Bo's Bo, I can see Bo's eyes <laughs> right now. Bo is all right. I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm ready. Bo, 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 Bo. This is the one episode where Nate doesn't get mad. It's gonna happen, right? No, now. no, no, no. This, no, he already got mad at me like four times. <laughs> all right. So I'm 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 gonna pick Archangel as well. Okay. So okay, I got Archangel. Sorry to hear that. I, I gotta have this. I gotta have the. I gotta have the Summers brothers. I gotta Ooh, have Cyclops. Yeah. I also gotta and have Havoc. 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 Gotta have Havoc. Havoc's my yeah. guy. Alex. Alex is my guy. Yeah, I know that. I knew that. Okay. All right. I'm also gonna have Colossus. Mm-hmm. As well, <laughs> just for the simple fact that at one point Colossus just said, "You know what? Fuck this," and just up and joined the Acolytes. I like that about that guy. He fucking just yeah. fucking just joined Magneto one day. <laughs> and goes, I'm not coming out of the steel or skin. I'm just going to go up to Asteroid M and just be a bad guy. Now. Who's that? Like that. Colossus. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The Asteroid M stint was really good. Yeah. That so lights. here are my here are my final two. Yeah. These are going to be oddballs. Yeah. These are going to be oddballs. All right. a, lot of, a lot of LAX man references tonight, people. The I've Deuce got Nichols. Cannonball. The Douche Nichols. Cannonball? Cannibal, Cannibal was never next. What the fuck are you doing with Cannibal? Yeah, he, was, yeah, he was in X Force. No, uh, yeah, no. He was in X Force, but what the fuck are you going to do with him? Right, yo, whoa, 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 What's his whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fucking sorry, try to sorry, fucking sorry, gang sorry, up on me. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You don't sorry. fucking remember the fucking Force of Dust Mites? I will fucking reap down Can- and Cannonball. give you furious anger. Cannonball was one of the original New Mutants. Yeah. That's yeah, he's in. That's not Sam Gunthry. Sam Gunthry. Sam Gunthry is fucking in. Cannonball's in. I don't care what anybody says. What? And my okay. last pick, my last pick, my last pick is Forge. Oh, okay. The That's guy, fair. The guy with That's the bionic leg. Yep. The That's Native fair. American That's Vietnam veteran. Forge, man. Jesus Forge. Christ. I fucking That's... love that guy. He's trying to He's sell it. He's trying to sell it right now. Man, I mean, yeah. All right. Forge. All right. For, he also smashed Storm. Yeah, I was going to say. If I had known, I, 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 I could have been. Well, he my he, he been also been forged different. that Storm, uh, by the way. <laughs> she got around. A shout to the. Uh, it was. It was a. Uh, I think it was Uncanny X Men one eighty three through one eighty six. Yeah. So during the the right uh, white the cover. It's the, it's the white cover where they're yeah. like embraced on the front. Yeah, yeah. the di- uh, they were they were the uh, the uh, the enemy from Rom. The wraiths were invading the X Men. It was another alien fucking invasion because you know fucking X Men. Good, good thing we're gonna have a gift basket for them next episode. Yeah, yeah. Shout out to the shout out to the Brood man Brood. The alien oh, the brood's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know who? You know who doesn't get enough credit? Fucking long shot. Yeah, Mojo World. Yeah, long yeah, shot. Right? You, know, you, know a lot of, you know why? Because uh, the new age came in, X Force came in, and long shot took his place. Man, yeah. long shot was Fuck a great Shatter book star. Man, long Arthur star. Adams. Man, that's Arthur Adams. My yeah, my, my homie Art yeah. Adams. Man, he created that. Nah. 
So um, my fighter, so my team is Havoc, Cyclops, Archangel, Colossus, Cannonball, and Forge. L- 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 can I ask you an honest <laughs> question? Honest question. Honest question. What the fuck is Cannonball doing? <laughs> what is what does he bring to the table? I look at the rest of your team and I say, okay, all these people have like a unique skill no, that they can I, bring to the, the table. One thing I can what say is, is Cannonball like, doing? Bo- what's it, what's uh, Cannab- doing? Cannonball was uh, one what's of the doing? Eternals. There was there was um, a bunch of mutants, if I remember correctly, that couldn't die. Okay. They, were, they were eternal, eternal. Uh-huh. Right, right, he was, right. He, he was and granted, cannonball is one of those. Yeah, he was granted one of the eternals, if I remember Jesus correctly. Christ. Okay. Let me well, ask. Well, let me well, ask the well, chat. Well, forgive oh, me well, if I, cannonball I happens to be an eternal. <laughs> yep. Th- that's crazy, listen, though. Listen, Who would expect? Listen, he was a lot more. To be he was a lot more. Pa- no one... He was a lot more powerful than we all thought, man. Uh, well, thank you, Dust. Okay. That's that's also also here's the thing. My my team That's has fair. three has three guys that all led three different teams. So if at any point somebody goes down, I've got a leader on the floor at all times in Havoc, Cyclops, and Cannonball. Yo, I got weather pussy, and she has like thirty kids. So she's <laughs> good at commanding people, giving but orders. I, I, people I, listen to weather pussy. I accept uh, I accept your cannonball defense as <laughs> as as accurately as I accept <laughs> Middy's weather pussy. weather pussy defense. You know, so, you know you know it's all it's well, it's, it's all it's 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 okay. Third. You know, you know okay. weather Fine. pussy weather pussy Fine, for yeah. dust mites is Fine. a Saturday night. Whether I'm gonna fucking swipe left <laughs> <laughs> weather. That's the only way I'm gonna get weather pussy in my uh, life. So, <laughs> <laughs> so shout out to uh, hashtag Tinder life. So yeah, okay. Right. Thank you, thank you, Mitty, for setting me up for that. Group. <laughs> you know that. <laughs> okay, I have one. I have one more thing to talk about, and then we will get into. I um, Do I have to fake be and make it or break into? Do you want? Yeah, you have to be. Do you want I to go pee? pee? So fucking bad. No, okay, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. All right. If I hear the question, I could go use the bathroom and come back, and I can answer last. It's not really a qu- well. Okay, it is kind of. All a right. <laughs> well, um, where, where where do you guys stand on Bigfoot? <laughs> it's been a while. We haven't heard from him for a while, man. I think he's on a hiatus. You the know, only reason why we, we haven't seen you- that, uh, that quarter look Sasquatch pick in a while, where he's going like side to side. You know. The reason I ask is because this past weekend in North there Carolina, was North there was the fir- in North Carolina. Yes. Oh, you know about this. The Bigfoot I know Festival. About this one, the Bigfoot Festival. And this First is the, annual. This is where I go pee. Yeah. yeah just, First because annual if you live in North Big Carolina, that, that's your biggest fear. You look how outside. Far, you see of course. How, how far it's is this place from? Well, uh, uh, I haven't looked at it at that actual city. I didn't yeah, find out. Yeah. I didn't find out about it until after it had already happened. Oh, because um, that, that listen, that might be if if that's within four hours of dude, me, I think oh, I'm going. It's probably within four hours. It's, I, th- I think I'm going if I know about it. Yeah. <laughs> Hang on, I'll tell you. I, I fucking love Bigfoot. <laughs> <laughs> It's, fucking, uh, it's it's almost almost but not quite five hours gotcha 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 i mean yeah it would have to be a whole week you have to that's go a, that's tonight. a big deal we don't yeah, we have to yeah. spend yeah. it'd be a trip it'd be a trip but hey man shit apparently there were thousands of people there yes and they, were, what I'm they saying. were fucking there was a big fucking deal like i read interviews it was a with big foot fucking deal it was a big, <laughs> big foot fucking deal, deal. Indeed, indubitably, and dude. My cousin, and my my my, my, <laughs> my cousin know. and I have like a running, like whenever we go to visit each other, like usually like on the last day because we like you know rage for a few days or whatever. Usually on the last day, we're like we just get high and we're like watching television or whatever. We're laughing, and we always seem to find some sort of Bigfoot show on like <laughs> Nat Geo or Discovery. It's like fucking you know like finding bigfoot <laughs> or new footage or like some shit like it's just bigfoot. like undisclosed and yes, finally yeah. discovered yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, i just oh. it's it fascinates me that yeah that, 
that this is that big. That's a thing, man. It's crazy. People are like hell bent on that shit. And what's crazy is, and I, you know, I don't want to get, I don't want to get too controversial here, but the the degree to which people are willing to believe in a Bigfoot. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like That's it's what like, I'm saying. It's like. Uh, you know what? I just uh, I don't have any evidence to support the existence of a real life Bigfoot, but until I see anything that proves that there isn't a Bigfoot, yeah. I'm gonna keep on believing that there's a Bigfoot because like somebody a- stole a- my grandmommy's apple pie out of her window, and I've you know I mean some some happened. I don't know aliens? What it was. Are we a- still a- talking about could Bigfoot? Be aliens? Is this a- it could be no. Bigfoot. It could it's like, it's be. Like it's, like, it's like it's aliens. Jesus Christ didn't make aliens. <laughs> Bigfoot's here though. Like like you know oh, those yes. same people. Yes, those same totally. people believe, Did I hear totally. someone believe in Adam and Eve? But but <laughs> and Bigfoot, but not aliens. Yeah. <laughs> did, did I hear yeah. someone was serving apple Thank pie out of snatch? What what the fuck did I just hear? What the fuck did I just walk into? What the fuck you guys Bigfoot. talking about? Jesus Bigfoot. Christ! I leave okay. I leave for three it's, and a half minutes. What the fuck? We'll catch you up real quick, fast. So good. Bigfoot <laughs> completely plausible and a totally real thing. But <laughs> Jesus Christ, skeptical. Yes, I, I you know I, I, I have more faith in Bigfoot than I do Jesus Christ. I'm gonna tell you guys right now. The li- <laughs> Nessie Nessie that picture of Nessie. <laughs> That pops his head out. That that, that picture of Nessie is yeah. more of a plausible character than does uh, Jesus H. Christ on the thing. <laughs> you know there's I mean? a big man in the sky that made us. There's ain't, a, no, yeah. ain't no way. Ain't no way. There's intelligence. Oh God, we're gonna get rid- Oh, don't, don't, no. Let's not upset the Christians and the Catholics. He made a Bigfoot. He the made a Bigfoot that he decided God damn it, he to made hide from you, you, and he put it here for it. us to search out. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Ain't she Samarian got to do with this? What's she Samarian? You know what? You know what? You know, you know what God is? It's it's a sex god because everybody fucking preaches to him when they oh god, oh god, oh god, oh my yeah. god. That's it. Cavemen and dinosaurs live nice. together in harmony. <laughs> <laughs> That's where you get a Bigfoot from. That's where you get that Bigfoot. I'll give you a what was that? I'll give you a fucking ass, you fucking dumb fuck. Uh, all right, so I'm, there I'm you glad go. I, I'm just gonna go to the tail end of that one. Shout out to Caveman Ringo. <laughs> Man, Ringo. Okay. Mad Ringo. Mad Ringo uh, or Mandingo? It's, it's time for it's time for everybody's, especially Dad's, favorite part of the show. Breaking, making, or faking news. You like the music, right? The music yeah, is good, right? You know, it's it. catching on. It's catching on. It. Two of these forget, stories. Unless I forget to edit. Two, two of these stories, or one of these stories, was uh, suggested by uh, Pumps. Everybody remembers Pumps. He was our twelfth. Pump, pump, pump it up. He was our twelfth. Oh, yeah. uh, our twelfth. Yes, I believe he's a, he's a, he does a great job at manscaping. <laughs> He'll manscape your lawn. Oh, Give him a call. To the fuck. That's his thing. He's a he's a he's a he's a what are the, he's, what are he's those, a manscaper. He manscapes things. a landscaper. Yeah, manscapes. Yeah. Shout out to Frogman. Sto- Sto- <laughs> I, mean, I had a crow bothered in there. We can't yeah, forget about that. You know, shout out to we, we missed last episode, man. I know. Shout out to Frogman twice. Story number one. One, two, three, four. Nashville man accused of assault with a biscuit. Shout out on the biscuit with some honey. What you talking about? That was that one. <laughs> I'm doing the register, motherfucker. I'm gonna biscuit. Right here. Was, got a shout out on the biscuit. <laughs> no. What? Mm. You don't like your bitch and salty. If I would have known this is the type of party, I would have stuck my dick in the mashed potatoes. Story number two. Man fined $124 for kicking seagull that ate cheeseburger. 
His cheeseburger or a cheeseburger? I don't know. It says cheeseburger. I'm just I'm reading the thing. Shout out to Seals. <laughs> flock of. Flock man, of. man buys Slim Jims for his dog and a lottery ticket wins $10 million. There's the money shot right there, guys. <laughs> that is, he keeps yeah. it to the last. And That's that the dog one I'm is going gonna with. There's you know, one more. You don't even need to ask me. What? I want to know the Slim Jim fucking money job. That's what I want to know. That's that, that's my vote. <laughs> I, no, there's, just... there's one more. Oh no, no, not another one. No, no, yeah, there, there's four. There's always four. You can't, you can't three. top that one. How about this one? Oh god. Discover, <laughs> discovery of dog. Saves Oregon man from sex crime conviction. Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, I, I, you know, discover. Oh, here we go. This, wait a minute. So hold on. Hold on. Okay. Hold, on. Right. hold on. Just let me reread them. Yeah. Discovery of a man on dog. Story number one: Nashville man accused of assault with a biscuit. Now. Story number two. Man fined one hundred and twenty-four dollars for kicking a seagull that ate cheeseburger. Story number three, man, shut the fuck up, Mitty. Story number three, I'm just saying we don't. Jekyll sucks. Yo, Jekyll, you you don't got heckle to back you up tonight. Just so hush. It's all good, man. I don't have no beer either. I take dog, out my frustration. I, I, dog, guys, dog, man. dog, the, dog. There's no. I, 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 I'm, I'm just reading the fucking headline. I haven't even gotten to the story yet, and you can't let me get it out. I don't understand. That's how it works at this time of the no, show. People no, know. That's it. Not, no, that's not. No, that's not. No, 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 no. This is no. We're delivering like we always do. Okay, no, you got the flow. No, no, I appreciate that. Story number three: Man buys Slim Jims for his dog. Lottery ticket. Wins ten million, and story number four: uh, uh, discovery of dog saves Oregon man from sex crime conviction. Mitty, since you want to fucking talk, which one would you like to hear? God damn, it's a hard choice between the last two dog ones. Shit, I, I mean, did the dog? Uh, no. I got, I gotta go with, I gotta go with the last one. The the person. Uh, beating a, a a case because of a dog somehow. Okay, I like it. Mitty's going with the dog saves man from sex crime conviction. Dust, dog, Seattle, man crime, the, whatever the fuck that. The was. the man crime or the or yeah. the lottery winner. The last one. The man crime. Yeah, yeah. I want to see what the fuck's up with that. How do you get that? <laughs> All right. Hey, I, I want to. I want to bank how he got out. <laughs> The Bo Walker <laughs> walkthrough. Jeez, Tell us how you right. feel, Bo. Uh, well, <clears throat> who knew? Who knew that the dog saving the man from the sex crime would become such an instant classic? Uh, I didn't see that coming. I didn't see it coming. I can't, I didn't, I can't see Bo's eyes at all. You saved the best for last. <clears throat> <clears throat> <laughs> so, sorry, Bo. This is uh, Bo, Bo. I do this entire show just for this segment because yeah, yeah, yeah. I like to hear you. I like to hear you walk through. He walk analyzes through the, the walk through. The this walk. is my favorite. The this is my through. favorite well, part of the show. You know what? I appreciate that. Um, and since you said that, I will ask you very humbly to repeat the one about the biscuit. <laughs> man, about Nash- a, biscuit. a man did a song with the biscuit. What do you do, Nashville man? Yeah, accused of Nashville. A, Nashville accused of assault with a biscuit. Nah, he threw a biscuit at somebody. <laughs> yeah, that's everyday bitch. life. For he's fucking a bitch. Man. That's every day he's a bitch. Life. He didn't. He's, a, he's a biscuit bitch. <laughs> somebody was a bitch, and he was a bitch, and a biscuit that thrown, and and fucking nah, nah, oh, nah. That All one's right, out. Then, that one's out. Uh, $124 fine for kicking a seagull because of a stolen cheeseburger. I mean, uh, I mean, it, on the surface, you're like, what the fuck is this shit? But then you think about it and it's like, well, shit, if a, 
if a fucking seagull, seagull stole, stole my cheeseburger, cheeseburger. and kick I kicked it, it. I'd kick it too. <laughs> and somebody was like, hey, that's a $124 fine. You just kicked a fucking seagull. Yeah, well, you know, we, what, much, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'll say, how much, say I, how much would I kill it? it. <laughs> yeah. All right. How close were the cops around where they spotted that and were like, yo, yeah, yeah, we right. finally get to give the seagull yeah. ticket. The seagull. <laughs> We yeah, saw like, you, dude. We saw you. You kicked that seagull, and dude. Like, bro, you kicked bro. that seagull, bro. bro oh, the, you fucking kicked that seagull. Like, bro, fucking egg bird. The fine is five dollars more if you kill it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> fucking a. <laughs> you know they. Framed I mean, that seagull ticket. tonight, <laughs> bro. At the station, that ticket is framed. You fucking know yeah. it. You know God. it. I mean, that's ridiculous. That's ridiculous. <laughs> All right, so the single story's out. Down to the last two. I don't give a shit. So we're down to the last two, um, ah, this is the which were <laughs> the Slim Jim. What was it? The guy bought man, Slim man, Jim. Man, man, man goes to buy Slim Jims for his dog, uh-huh. buys a lottery ticket, wins $10 million. And the other one had to do with the dog as well. The dogs are very yeah. popular yeah. these days. The dog, <laughs> dog found, found a dog. <laughs> Overturns man's sex crime conviction. <laughs> I got. I gotta be honest. I want to know too. The more interesting <laughs> one is the dog that that overturns a man's sex crime. Yeah, exactly. Conviction. I want to know. Absolutely. A hundred percent. Did the, dog come, up, did the no. dog come up to the stand and say, "Yeah, right." He goes horse. He goes full horse on you, and he's like, <laughs> and you're like, oh well, shit, god damn it, well, we can't convict this man. Fuck he's fuck with him. clearly innocent. Or he just stepped up and said, this guy is innocent. <laughs> yeah. no, I mean, very nonchalant voice. I mean, people buy Slim Jims and win the lottery all the time. <laughs> It's not fair. It's not fair, and I don't think it's a just thing the way it, the the way the cards happen to fall. But it happens. You know what I'm yep. saying? Seventy five a day. Yeah. Right. Thank you. All right. So tell us the story. Tell me what happened. How did this dog okay. think this man's life? Are we picking um, it? Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's, here we that's go. It. That's it. That's the one. I need, I, I need to know. I need to know what Bo is sipping on, so I could have some next week. It's a red. It's a red stripe. Shout out to Stripe. Stripe. Stripe-o yeah, del, making del Rojo. It's the Stripe-o del Rojo. Yeah, is good, yeah, Stripe is good. It's all right, red man. Stripes. Just Red Stripes. Well, I did host Bingo earlier tonight, and I would be lying if I said I didn't indulge. Man, he's on dust mice level right now. Yeah. I, I, I think you were at that bit. liquor before beer have no fear tonight. Mm, man. Maybe a little bit. All right. We the discovery. There we go. There we go. <laughs> you set them the off. The discovery maybe. of a black lab named Lucy led to an unraveling of a criminal case Monday Lucy's against, got an, organ, against an organ man who had begun serving a 50-year prison sentence. Jesus Christ. Joshua Horner, a plumber from Oregon, was convicted on April 12, 2017, of sexual abuse of a minor. In the trial, the complainant testified that Horner had threatened to shoot her animals if she went to the police and alleged molestation and said she saw him shoot her dog, killing him to make his point. Six months after a jury convicted Horner in a unanimous decision where he was to (laughs) serve a... A fifty-year prison sentence. So, so him killing the dog. She's like, "Fuck you!" I'm gonna. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. So, so Horner insisted he never shot the dog, and finding the dog would show that his that the that the complainant had lied under under oath. But was it alive? Where was it? The Oregon Project volunteer and official Hummel's office searched for it. The black lab had reportedly been given away. They made a couple of trips and he was not there. We heard he was in Seattle. Then we learned he was a place had a place on the Oregon coast. It's like fucking where in the world is fucking Labrador, where the world? Labrador, we, we, Labrador we, San Diego. Lab. Where's Jesus Labrador? Christ. <laughs> Mandigo. Send him out to the farm. It was there 
in the town of Gerhart, northwest of Portland, that the pair finally found Lucy after her owners agreed to a rendezvous on a golf course. She was drinking a bowl of water, sitting there in shade underneath a porch. We played with her, petted her. It was wonderful. Lucy was then identified as the complainant's dog. The key evidence shown that she had not been truthful when testifying. Lucy the dog was not shot. The dog is alive and well. Yep. Case gets thrown out. Our man does not have to serve 50 years for a crime he did not Shout to what Jesus <laughs> Christ. He, he, he was able to fuck the bitch. This dude was about to spend 50 years in prison. No, he, he was about to. He fucked the bitch, but he didn't kill the dog. Is that yeah, what you're saying? I mean, he still might have committed a crime, just yeah, not that yeah. crime. Yeah, but not that crime. Well, yeah, yeah. I mean, I guess. We don't I know. Guess. I don't want to. Yeah. And it was a kid. It wasn't like a chick, so. Oh. He's back with those comments. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, well, yeah. Well, yeah. Oh. But yes. What was what, right. what was the age on the child in question? Uh, twelve. I'm not talking about that. Jesus Christ! <laughs> what the fuck? Why is this even in question? <laughs> Jesus Christ! Burn this man to stake. <laughs> but fuck. she but she lied about him. Yeah, well, you know, you know, the dog with the slim Jim position to be a lot about. better at this point. Nate. I mean, listen, yeah. I, uh, I understand that you know kids can make up stories, but also can, this yeah, guy I could mean, also have done it too. So I, yeah. you know what I mean. Oh, well, here's what I'm saying. <laughs> here's like what I'm saying. I'm very sensitive when it comes to my time spent I, I, around twelve year olds, and I'm sure you I'm feel the you. same way. Yeah, right. Thousand percent. Thousand yeah. percent. But she went so far as to say that he murdered her dog in front of Which means that something, although maybe not quite as extreme as murdering an animal, something probably happened that 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 prompted her to make an accusation of some kind. Here's Rudolph. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying. Here's Rudolph, Eddie. Here's Rudolph. I don't want. I don't want to get into a fucking episode of fucking special (laughs) victims unit right now, bro. I really don't. You know. You know what you're eating right now? Here's Rudolph. Shout out to Grandpa Smith. (laughs) That fucking cock sucking Grandpa Smith. Cock sucking. uh, Shout out to emphysema that took him down. very painful. And quick, the uh, the biscuit throwing incident. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I re- just it was in Nashville. Was, you know, I read it. Uh, a guy ran into his ex chick with her new boyfriend Ugh. at a fucking Ate at a it. restaurant, Ate and he got and, and and he got upset and started hurling biscuits at her from like fucking five feet away That's at awful. her face. And then she ran and jumped in the car, and then apparently he started to headbutt her fucking windshield. Nice. <laughs> I mean, Can't that's the real go. story. Not the- let it go. The, the, let the, it go. The, the, the cop, the cops came and arrested him, and they put him in the back seat, and he was hurling himself at the window in the back seat of the car, so enraged that his ex girlfriend had the audacity to find a new boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> Got tired of them always fucking shermed out. Ugh. Yeah, so there it is. So there it is. Uh, Bo Walker, do you have a southern second, my friend? Um, not, uh, not, not really to speak of. Come up with it. Uh, come, come, come on, come on, come on. Bring one up. Come up with something. What do we got? Tell me. <laughs> what? What do we got? What you got? What you got? What you got? Shit, yeah. I don't know. He's like, what you got? God damn, man. I, you know, <laughs> I'm here. I'm here, homie. I'm just, I'm, I'm making it just like you. How, how do you like that new Spider? How do you how do you like that new Spider? Oh my game? God! Bo. The new Spider-Man game is everything. Bo, it it's is, really fucking cool. It's so cool. It is it is my escape right now. It is yeah, so it's awesome. Really fun. It's it's a lot of fun. The new Spider-Man game, ten out of ten. Get it. I'm having it's a blast. It's the official sponsor of this episode. <laughs> yeah. It's it's basically Arkham Arkham Asylum uh, with Spider-Man. Yeah, it's Assassin's yeah, Creed. Kinda. Yeah, yeah, kinda. Yeah, kind of. It's just the whole fucking. It's if you if you like the parkour of Assassin's Creed, yeah. this is that on methamphetamines. Yo, it, they it can, is. <laughs> it is fucking, you know, you you could you could take your favorite fucking franchise and make it work with that game if you do it right. Yeah. That style of game, it's fucking yeah. incredible. 
Yeah, it's you know fine, what games man. I fucking loved? Do you remember on PS? Uh, was it? It was it two or three, where they had like those like the um the over the top view X Men games where you had like a squad of like yeah, four yeah. people. Oh, Marvel would, Alliance and yeah, shit like that, or like Legends, Marvel, Marvel Legends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. That was good. Those fucking games were fun. Yeah, bro. dude. You just wanted to get to the cutscene. Yeah, those games were cutscene. fun. Dude. It was a great story, man. Yeah. You're and everybody together, wanted... like units. Yeah, they had like fucking twenty five characters you could put together, yeah. like teams and shit. That's yeah. actually where I got the idea of putting together your f- six X Men people oh, or whatever. Shit. Because like, because that was like the funnest part. Was like, yo, I can. And then in, like in one of the other X Men ones, you could get bad guys too, so you yeah, could like, run yeah, bad guys or good guys. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it was super dope, dude. And then they made Civil War. It was, yeah, it was a great series. It was, I love the fucking cinematics really and the storyline. Yeah, they're button mashers. You just button mash. Yeah, they're button mash. You and, and you like boost up your powers and shit, and yeah, then like you know, like get it, different it, it, stuff. Yeah, and of course, like they they fucking grabbed into your inner your inner uh, fucking uh, addict with all the fucking coins and whatnot you wanted yeah. to collect. You know what I mean? Like you know, dude. You, then they you, had different like costumes and shit. You could run you, them in like the yeah. Yeah. Smack, and yeah. stuff. You were you were smacking your friend off the fucking board that you're playing with just so you could get all the coins and whatnot. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it was so fuck. Yeah, gambling. Yeah. Let's bring yeah. gambling into fucking the greed and gambling into fucking video games. Yeah, that was a that was a fun series. I wish they would do more of those. Yeah, like Lego. Everybody wants to collect those little fucking studs. The Legos are the Lego you games. Turn, it. turn, <laughs> I love oh, those man. games. Turn on your best friend so you can get more studs than him. <laughs> oh, that's a blue one! Bam! You smack his head off. So you can get to the blue and gold stud. That Lego Dimensions game where you could like go into like Goonies World and Back to the Future no, World. Man, that's that just that shit is fun, bro. I have yeah. all that shit. That shit is dope. Yeah. Yep. Uh, Midichlorian, sir, do you have a mini minute? Uh, you guys get away easy this time, man. I'm just out here living that mediocre life, making some mediocre music. And, uh, <laughs> it is what it is. Your boy, peace. I like it. Dust mites. Uh, I take it you do not have an 80s cheese with dust no, or a beef with dust? That, man. We're all good, man. <laughs> We're good. Would you like to plug anything? Uh, your ass? I don't know. What the fuck? <laughs> Get in line, pal. David Hassel's got a great ass. <laughs> nah, man. I really enjoyed this episode, man. We had a good time tonight. Bo, you Yo. are in the fucking zone right now, my oh, man. I had a great time. It's a great I time. had an awesome time tonight. Yeah, I needed I love this it, tonight. Yeah, man. You know, this is, this is what I say, man. This is our therapy, man. This is an awesome yeah. time that we could come together and just talk the shit and have a good time and, and bullshit, man. And Nate brings the fucking uh, the topics in the news, man. And hey, for all you out there, make sure you fucking check out the uh, uh, the uh, Welcome to the Terror Drum on uh, iTunes and your local. Uh, I, don't, I guess they're listening to it. If I'm saying it, I'm just trying to promote it. Podcast out, addict, podcast addict. Your 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 fucking Google Play, all your podcast platforms, and don't forget we are on YouTube. And I, we're talking about maybe doing yeah, we're some, gonna have sort, a little live, little, little, some video, sort of exclusive video show. Video show coming soon. So uh, stay tuned, man. Stay tuned. And let's see what happens with that, man. If we. Uh, uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Video show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fucking weed's yeah. kicking in, man. <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like fucking Elon Musk, man, on Joe Rogan's show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You see where that goes. We should talk about that. We should oh, talk about that. God. Uh, we decided out of the blue. Out of the blue. blue. At the end of the show. Come on, that's Batman. Closest we got to a real Batman. <laughs> Shout out to uh, Elon. My name is Nathan Bat- Has Skill. Musk, man. You oh, can God. find me on all different platforms at Nathan Has Skill. You can find Bometheus at Bometheus. You can find Dust Mites at, at Dust Mites. You can find Midichlorian at, at Midichlorian underscore music. Cobra Law Records. Welcome to the Terradrome. You guys are fantastic. Farewell. Yeah, from the Terradrome. Wow, you let it go. Yeah, let, let it go, go there a little bit. Let it go there. I thought for sure yeah. you'd come in like <laughs> in the back. Nailed it. Wow.
Yeah, yeah, nailed it. Right, we gotta nailed do the uh, we gotta do the old yeah, fuck you, fuck you, fuck Mitty. <laughs> this guy, <laughs> fuck <me> this <laughs> like fuck Bo. <laughs> You're gonna decide of the blue, <laughs> out, of the fuck, blue. out of the blue to right. fuck Bo from right. the back. Uh, unlike unlike Mitty, who took 40 minutes to make dinner earlier, I've got to get something to eat. Got to get something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> What? 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 It's something to eat. What? What? Ha, 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 ha. what? You guys are fantastic. I love you guys. <laughs>